Hello, folks. So, here's the deal. I didn't think of something prior or after this, to be fair. So, we're going to go back into Emerald. I know I said last time was going to be the last part, but we're going to go back because we're going to do some post-game stuff. I'm going to show you some new things that are available since we beat the Elite Four. A couple things are going to be well known, a couple things are not. And we're going to do something, uh, by the way, you're going to see something a little, I did this prior because I post-game stuff is very high leveled and as you can tell by our team, we are very under level. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of, I did this beforehand, juice up everyone. I know, very frowned upon. Or not, depending on if you're doing Nuzlocke, because Nuzlocke's uh, it's not really frowned upon. But we're going to do, uh, we're going to juice them up with some rare candies. I, as you can tell, I went a bit overboard. So, first things first is raise everyone to level 60. Or I'll do, not do 70 actually, I'll do a nice 70. We'll do Beck first, the hero of the other of world. Well, technically, uh... Loaf was the hero, but we won't talk about that. But yeah, so while we're doing this, um, we're gonna be going through post game. So the fact that there's literally something as soon as we go downstairs, which is why I haven't gone downstairs yet. So I hope uh, hope everyone's had a good day so far. Um, but yeah. Um, I know I realize I'm just saying um a lot. It's gonna be a good, uh, hopefully this is, uh, well received. So we're gonna tackle stuff that the Pokemon series doesn't even have anymore, actually. Because they used to have, uh, not Elite Four, Battle Frontiers. They got rid of that. So, we're gonna be do we're gonna be doing that, so. Oh yeah, I forgot, Jesus Christ, back, Ooh. Why are we why are we learning moves now? Hmm. The problem is false swipe would be very good for what we're gonna be doing. But you know what? No. False swipe uh, detect was a move that we were gonna learn earlier, but detect is a, like a protecting move. I'm gonna just raise everyone to level sixty because it's gonna take a while. Um, so, Detect is like a Protect, except it only has 5 PP, and only certain Pokemon learn it. Like, uh, Imp learned it for a while. And Sceptile learns it. It's unique in a way that, uh, you don't have to worry about, um, Imprism. Which is a move that will seal any moves that the user and the opponent share. Which is, uh, can be pretty, uh, detrimental. So, the idea is you want to... Not try to avoid using protect at least in the VGC uh, world. So that's a that's a who done it kind of thing. But um, yeah, and then false swipe is a very good move if you're planning to capture Pokemon. If we are planning to capture Pokemon, um, but we're not. There's only I think one Pokemon that is a one time. And then after that, it's gone forever. So, I just have to be aware of that. That's all. I need to also get more red candies, because uh, I have a lot of team members. Ooh. But yeah. Mind you, we probably won't do the big the big one, the big legendary of uh, Rayquaza. Because again, the Sky Tower is a mission and a half to do. But, uh, we'll try to, mm, I wouldn't, I can't say I want to guarantee the legendaries, per se, because I can't be like, oh, we're going to do this legendary. Oh, Elfie, you want to learn Blizzard? Nah, you're not learning Blizzard. I have Blizzard, ironically, if I needed to teach it. These are moves that we could have had in the Elite Four, which is a little saddening, but so be it. Um, but yeah, we're gonna tackle, or at least show, like, 
show or explain, depends, because some of the stuff is a little bit harder to explain. Or some of the stuff is a little bit harder to show than explain. Uh, what can be done in post-game? Obviously, some things are going to be feasible, some things won't be feasible. Like, I'll give you an example. I think uh, the events, like to get Mew and to get Deoxys and all that stuff, that's not going to happen because uh, I would have to figure a way to do that. And uh, that's a bit much, in a way. Because I don't think, at least my research going around, I couldn't find a way to be like, oh, just activate all events. Um, but yeah, and then there's a thing called the Mirage Islands, which is rare because it has a certain berry that doesn't grow anywhere in the game except for that area. And that's the only area, actually, fun fact, that you can capture a why not instead of having to breed Wobbuffet. Which, ironically, you breed Wobbuffet and it just brings a Wobbuffet out instead. I think you have to use a... I don't know if it's a psychic uh, incense they use and it gets you why not but that's it I realize I might I should have probably done this a little bit uh, before we got on but gives me a little chance to go through that but yeah we'll go through a little something called the battle frontier that uh, Game Freak decided to get rid of and kind of mockingly had in uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire they had a little statue of the battle tower which was kind of like a slap in the face, and I was like, uh, that's pretty rude. Game Freak, not gonna lie. So. But yeah, that's our squad here that made it to the very end somehow. I'll be honest with you, I don't know how they did it. And we're gonna, we're gonna use rare, these rare candies for something else as well. We're gonna, there's a certain someone we're gonna grab. That it's like a gift for beating the Elite Four. And it's the only way to actually get the Pokemon unless you breed. So. But there's a couple things we're gonna do before we go to the lovely Battle Frontier. Oh my god, are we actually gonna see Imp with a, a stat that's over 100 that's not HP? So close. Fun fact, uh, doing this is actually pretty bad. By that I mean like the rare candies because uh, the thing is your stats don't get any... Your stats do get better, but um, in terms of uh, EVs, since you're not earning any EVs, your stats have, don't really get drastic changes. So, last Pokemon. Overheat's our last one. Oh, Wow. You were that close to learning Overheat? Sorry, not Overheat. Heat Wave? Uh, you know what? Sure, we'll get rid of Thame Thor. We have another Thame Thor if we really want. Mind you, Heat Wave was... Actually, no, Heat Wave could have uh, helped out. Because it has... Uh, though its accuracy is uh, a, like 10 less, it does have power behind it. Less power than Fire Blast, mind you, but it has more PP than Fire Blast. Five more to be exact. Oh my god. Let's let's put it in perspective, folks, that this team was the team that beat the Elite Four, and the Elite Four was level 58, I believe, or 59. Basically at the 60s. And we were at the 48s and 45. Which is also another reason why this is taking quite a long time. And we keep hearing the little jingle. Alright. Almost there. Three more. How convenient. We're just pumping them with steroids. Alright. Last level. Alright. There we go. I, I think there is someone else we gotta fight, but I gotta figure out where they are exactly. And then Dad's home. Yeah, it's been a while. You abandoned me when you become a gym leader. I can't believe you. Oh, got an SS ticket for Mr. Briny. Ooh. For a fairy. 
Oh yeah, Slayport uh, and and Lily Cove. Forgot about those. Oops. And then there he goes. He runs away, and just like that, we never saw him again. Can you imagine that? Oh. So this isn't a. Uh, this be careful what you choose here. So they're bringing emergency news that there's very uh, in various home locations there's a report of a blitz colored, right? The Pokemon in flight. The identity of this Pokemon is certainly unknown. Not to return to your regular uh, movie program. So this allows you to choose a certain twin. So there's a certain set of legendaries called the Lotties or Latias and Latios. Latios is a more offensive one. Latias is more the bulky one. This is in I think in Ruby it was Latias and then is Sapphire is Latios regardless because obviously red and blue because that's what their color are. If um, depending on what we choose it depends on which one we get. I like Latias so I'm gonna go red. So if we encountered it, I will be able to uh, I'll be able to maybe use it, capture it. All right. Oh yeah, and our mom fuck our mom trapped us in here. God damn it, mother. And then Birch is here to kidnap us. Oh yeah. Okay, so. All right. Now there's one little thing about here. Birch, what is it? Uh huh. Yeah, other Pokemon's in other regions. Yes. Oh yeah, there's the national. Oh, you get the national Pokedex when you uh, beat the Elite Four, always. Huh. There's a certain someone I was looking at that we were gonna battle, but I realized this. They're considered the true champion, which is you face him in Ruby and Sapphire. Mr. Steven Stone. A uh, problem. He's close to level 80, apparently. So, if we fight him, we'll pump ourselves to like the lowest level that he has in his team. But, uh, oh yeah, it's Scott. That's his title now. Uh-huh. So he keeps telling us about, uh, like we've been told multiple times about Slateport and, uh, or Lily Cove. We're gonna do that, but we're not gonna do that now for a second because there's a couple of things that opened or a couple of things that have changed. There's a digging maniac who, uh, if we remember, was digging against the wall and was like, here's the move dig, right? Oh, wrong house. Hey man, sorry I called you a maniac. I completely forgot I had the repel on. It's this guy, this, uh, this area. As you notice, this now, yeah, you, fi you found the fossil, didn't you? So nice and dreamy. Oh yeah, you gotta go to Devon to revive these fossils. I for Actually, I completely forgot, I'll be honest with you. Uh-huh. But yeah. Now, there's this dungeon. The Desert Underpass. So... By any chance, do you remember, if you guys remember, there's a, a certain fossil that fell in, underground and then just went up in and disappeared. Well, in post game, I don't know if it happens in Ruby and Sapphire because I never came back to this area. So I'm not sure. Also, by the way, the only Pokemon that spawns in this area is Ditto. So if you ever want a Ditto, here they are. Now I gotta pray to God, uh, pray that I can actually catch it though. Ditto's a weak Pokemon, to say the least. It's not a great Pokemon. Oh, well, it gets better later on because it, it gets like a. It gets a imposter. But uh, it's, as of right now, it's not that great. 
It's it's basically primarily used for breeding. So, as you're gonna tell, like the deeper we get into this cave, oh, there's louder too. Interesting. Um, we're gonna capture it because it's actually going to evolve. I think if we pump it with a rare candy, so we maybe at least show what the evolution looks like. But uh, this is the cave where you can get Ditto, apparently Loudred, because I don't remember Loudred in this in this area. This name will make sense eventually. This will make sense eventually. But yeah, I didn't completely forgot Loudra was in this area. But yeah, the objective, as you can tell, is to get all the way to the end because. Not because Wismer. Overheat, let's. Uh, actually, let's see what, what Heat Wave looks like. Oh, kind of like Sandstorm, except it's just colored red. Okay. We learned something new because I don't think I've ever used Heat Wave in a game. Or at least not in these games. I think I might use a Repel if I don't. Yes, Ditto. But yeah, you can far well, farm in quotes Ditto and try to get a perfect I need one. What? Oh yeah, there's the gimmick, which it turned into me, but it, it turns into your, the enemy Pokemon, but it turns it's like a lighter shade. All right, so oh wait, is it because I have Torkoal in the front? Is that why overheat? Also, hmm, I don't remember Ditto being fast. I. I the thing is, there's two items that uh, make Ditto, that are only used for Ditto, which is Quick Powder, which only works when it's still Ditto, and uh, I think uh, Iron, something Iron, and it, uh, it boosts Ditto's defense. So, there you go, you see? So, remember the Claw Fossil that fell down? There you go, you can get the other fossil. That's it. So, you, if for some reason you were like, oh my god, I didn't pick up this fossil and now it's gone forever. It's not. It's right here. Right now. Just not really the most easiest area to get in. Duo, where is my escape rope? There it is. As cool as I think this area is, uh, yeah, no. There's another area I was thinking of because this is an area that's only that Pokemon specifically. So, yeah, that's that's what I thought. Also, there is someone in this uh, in the in Meteor Falls, said Stephen Stone, um, that we will eventually talk to. But uh, again, we're gonna buff ourselves to level seventy-five if we do that. Just so you know what the true champions team was. Also, just to show some... Oh, first of all... Ditto, get out of here. No one liked you. No one likes you. Actually, there's people that do like Ditto. And boom pipes, which makes no sense, logically speaking. We're gonna evolve it. So you can see... X, uh, so you can see Loudred's final evolution. Or Wismer, technically, if we're going... Last, uh, there you go. It evolves at level 40, so it was like right there. And I'm not gonna lie, even though it's not a great Pokemon by any standards, I like this Pokemon. It's just to get to this Pokemon is, uh, it's difficult. Because I'll be honest with you, I don't mind Wismer. Uh, your boom pipes evolved into, uh, Explode. 
Like, don't get me wrong, I like, uh, Expl I like Exploud a lot. I'm one of the few that actually would use Exploud on, uh, Sword and Shield, if it existed in Sword and Shield. Uh, downside. I think it's middle evolution of La uh, Loudred is ugly as hell. I never liked Loudred. Even, even, mind you, they have, like, the closed mouth, uh, sprite for 3D and stuff. I still hate it. I hate it so much. It like irks me the way it looks. Uh, where is it in Lily Cove? Oh wait, you know what? I'll just go to Slateport because at least I know where the the shipyard for Slateport is. Oh, Slateport's right here. I'm an idiot. All right, Captain. I need a uh, need to get out of here. We need to go. Uh huh. All right. Oh yeah, Mr. Briny. No. I flashed a ticket. Oh. Is this all it was? It was to take me to Lily Cove. Oh, okay. Never mind. Thank God. Uh huh. Yep. To the Battle Frontier, which is supposed to be the creme, the creme de la creme, as they say. Where, uh, how should I put it? How should I say? It's uh, it's basically if you ever make competitive Pokemon, that's basically what it is. If you if you make competitive sets in Pokemon and you want to test them out, that's the place you go. There is one area that doesn't use your Pokemon. Oh shit, I could have been in part with them. But that's where like you test out, does this set work? Am I doing this right? So, oh, of course. Also, well, our base speeds are not, are combined together, are still slow as hell. And by the way, still slow as hell. Tor uh, overheat makes sense. Overheat's a tortoise. Who just learned overheat, so us heat waving doesn't know how to act. Uh, please there you go um, So we're gonna head to the Elite Four. There's a couple of things we could technically Attempt a couple of them. I Might just show what each gimmick is and Then I'll show like the main one that I'll try to tackle Mind you key term try because I think it is a long arduous um, process to get to there or like get to the actual battle frontier brain because you have to fight every battle frontier brain twice in order to get the gold medal so you get a silver one for being them once which I believe you have to win 27 battles in a row and then there's the gold which if I remember it has to be you have to win I'm drawing a blank here. I think it's 54 or something like that. Some, some weird number in a row where you get a chance to fight them. And then that becomes a whole conundrum. So, they're, they're nothing to sneeze at. Maybe, well, one of them is a little bit easier in a way because it's not using, like, your own Pokemon. So, if, let's say, you're, like... Like, or us, or like me in this situation where I just using an in game team that literally has no synergy, as we realized. The silence just. it's over. We could battle all these uh, people, but I choose not to. Oh, unless I have to battle everyone. I hope not. 
I hope I don't have to like battle everyone because that would that would suck. Uh huh. Yep. These people are bored, so they're itching for a battle on the ship. I really hope I don't have to battle everyone, because that's a lot of battles to go through. Oh. Oh. Well, that's cabin one. I'm an idiot. Cabin two. Oh, okay. So if I rest, then it's over and I can... El Socior. There you go. But resting the bet. Yeah, there you go. Uh-huh. All right, Lily Cove, where was this? Down here. Why, why am I not surprised? Hello. There you go, now we get the Battle Frontier one. Yep. And I think it's classic that if we fall asleep, we do a time skip where we end up, uh... Yep, or no, no, not even. Well, folks, this is the Battle Frontier. Yeah, that's my first time. First time visits it, we issue a battle frontier or a battle pass. Frontier pass, not battle pass. Ooh, that's money. Yep. There you go, you see? This is a, uh, quite the area, I'll admit. There's a lot to get absorbed into this area. No way. So we have many facilities. We got the Battle Factory, which I think is the one we're gonna tackle the m at least the most to give a general idea. Again, we're gonna tackle them all, but I'm not gonna win any of them. There's a couple of areas that kind of look like Pokemart or shops, which is kind of weird. We got the, I think it's the Battle Dome. Oh, Battle Dome, nice. I think the Battle Dome would be considered like the Battle Tower, in quotes. Alright. Shows you how much I remember of this area. And we got Battle Tower, that's what I'm thinking of. Battle Tower is a classic, as they say. Any f fucking Pokemon game you've seen has a Battle Tower. The Ranking Hall. The Battle Pyramid, I think one of the hardest area, I think one of the harder ones to do, in my opinion. And uh, the guy who actually uses it is, uses Reggie's. Then we got the Battle, I think, Dojo? Arena, oh sorry. So, shows how much I remember. Or how much I, oh my god, this woman blocked me in. How much I can remember. And or care battle palace and there's one i'm looking for who holds my favorite frontier brain it's like a waifu essentially speaking but where is it okay let's look for another bike wise uh-huh there's a pokemon center the one i'm looking for is called the battle pike and it, you'll know what the building looks like. And the fact that I remember it off the top of my head. I think I found I think I found it as I'm hitting my head multiple Yes, the battle pike. This is uh the I think the more interesting of the designs of the battle of Battle Frontier. And just because I like this one a lot, I'm gonna do this one first. We're we're probably not gonna win, but we'll do this one first. Basically, this is based off luck. Just to let you know. We're gonna do level 50 because I think open battles like everyone's at level 100. So. Yeah, this is just telling us the rules that, uh. Uh huh. Yes. I beg your pardon, but you do not have three eligible Pokemon in the battle choice event. You must have three different Pokemon of, of L50 or less. Oh, okay. My bad. 
So apparently this is before they would grab your levels and drop it to level 50. I, again, I think open levels can be like your highest level Pokemon. So hopefully it's not a, uh, not uh, that crazy. Um, I'm gonna take Elfie. Um, I'm gonna take Loaf and I'll take uh, back the stars at the end. It's not everyone else's fault. So, Curse Demon Red Text is going to come up. Because obviously, before you do any of the Battle Frontiers, they force you to save. So, Red Text. There he is. There he is, the Red Demon Text. Alright. So, the objective is to get lucky and choose a pathway. So, this. And then, this is like a hint. The path on the left, is it a trainer? I sense the presence of people. Something about the left, a trainer. So you could choose a path that is based on luck. One of the luck circumstances um, is uh, where you will get frozen or status. So a Dustclops may use Ice Beam and your entire team is frozen, or someone may use Burn, or like Will O Wisting Burn. But yeah, it's a, it's kind of a conundrum. Also, Chansey. Yikes. All right, before Chansey gets any of those up, we need to uh, get rid of it. Chansey's very weak physically and very strong in the special end, so. So if it keeps doing this, we're on in deep waters. So let's see. Wow. That, oh my God. That did absolutely nothing. Mind you, again, they're competitively viable Pokemon. So. You son of a gun. Are you gonna use evasion on me? Oh, I forgot you're in love. God damn it. Yep. So this is uh, the pinnacle of. Uh, maybe I won't do the other other uh, Battle Frontier. I'll probably just do the Battle Factory for because Battle Factory has a Battle Factory, and I think Battle. Oh, okay, Battle Arena have a special gimmick. where you have battle arena is where you're i think um you choose and it depends on your ki if your opponent's ko'd but if no one's ko'd in the three turns it's based off what you did so if you did like a defensive move then that counted if you did a healing or if you actually killed what how do you get softball Fuck me. This Chansey is super strong. For no reason. I'm getting like, I feel like giving up. This Chansey is way too strong. I don't know how I feel about this. Especially since the spamming minimized, which is such a cheese strat. Oh, we got the hit, alright. But dude, what a... What a cheese moment. It gets, um... Metronome soft pull. And this thing is raising its, uh... Why are you raising a vision? Do you not have any move of, of metronome? Minimize. Yeah, it's just gonna force me to try to use um, Beck at this point. It's really forced me to use Beck because Beck is the only one that has a, a move that doesn't miss.
which does absolutely nothing I get, apparently. God, what I can do is pray for a crow is what I can do. Please crit. This chance is annoying. I wonder what else this chance he has besides metronome defense curl. Uh, I don't remember if this is the only Pokemon though. I've, again, I've never done Battle Frontier, so I don't know what the hell's what. Except the whole gimmick of this is this and this is that. I think the only gimmicks I really like are the Battle Pyramid gimmick, which is you going around trying to find these uh, special doors and stuff, and Battle Factory. I think uh, Battle Arena has also another good one. Battle Pike, unfortunately, is if you're not lucky, then you're not lucky. Well, damn. Well, I'm just gonna beat it down with Aerial Ace. Oh my god, metronome. <laughs> it ain't gonna do much. Come on. Come on. High school spear. God damn it, it's a multi hitting move. Coming off of Chansey though, so. Well, at least, uh. Yeah, really? Minimize? You have Hyper Voice, Try Attack, Minimize, and Defense Curl. Refresh. Oh, never mind. So one of the moves was called upon by Metroid. Thank God. He has three Pokemons. I'm dead. Oh. Looks like Elfie's in charge of this team. Smart in a way if I was really going to use, uh, no. No, are you serious? You're going to be telling me that he's going to hide under, under the ground to hit me hard? Because of the stab and stuff? Ugh. Gligar unfortunately sucks in Gen 3. He gets a lot better in Gen 2. I think it's even better in Gen 5 with the Dream World ability. Well, not Gligar, but Gliscor, to be exact. Oh, is this belly drumming like noon? Uh, oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I apologize. Oof. Oh, if it was belly drum, we can't belly drum no more. I feel like this team is messing with my accuracy at this point. That sucks. There we go. We somehow won. There we go. This, uh, these battles will not be easy. I'll tell you that. And the whole idea of having to choose and then just choose a uh, process of finding it difficult. Yeah, let me see. There's something in the path in the center. It seems like. I think I'll do that in case, uh. Yep. Oh, because this is like an area that you can actually encounter Pokemon. Oh, shoot. I didn't know you could find some Viper in here. That's actually kind of cool. Oh, but you can't capture them, so it's garbage. Worthless. Alright. At least I can run away from them. Oh, no. Please. I need to not be fighting Dustnoir. Dustnoir will, or Dustclops will wreck shop. So, I mean, this is a lot of Pokemon that wasn't that bad. A hint. Yeah. Uh huh. Let me guess. Is it a person? Yeah. It's a person, of course it is. 
for the battle pack, I don't know how it works in terms of like, oh, when do you get to fight uh, the tr uh, the V4 brain? Not sure. Don't remember. Oh no, not this whole track nonsense. I'm gonna get really annoyed by that. Really, really annoyed. So, uh, at least we got the surf off. Maybe he doesn't have the greatest stats, anyways. Oh, of course, it lived. Let me just. Uh, oh yeah. Also, if you haven't noticed, KO Pokemon does not call upon the like. Oh, do you want to switch? Because. Uh, this is competitive, so no switching. No, at least no, like, oh, this opponent is going to switch to using this. Will you be using that instead? So, there's that going for it. Okay. Yeah, during the hit, let me guess, this is a Salic. Yep. Which means Eevee's going to be faster. Or Bex faster, because Eevee's stats kind of suck. At least it was Eevee, and not so many other things. Meowth, oh shit, it's a rat, as they say. Of course it has fake out. I flinched. Owie. And then Meowth is gone. There's actually a way to get a Meowth in this game. It just requires you to trade a Skitty, which I think we do have a Skitty, so I might just trade it. Unfortunately, if the lady doesn't show up, there's no uh, points of like saving to go back and all that stuff. All right, so uh huh, yep, nostalgia. Oh no, oh no, oh. That's pretty cool of him. Should have realized he wasn't gonna fight if he didn't try to fight me anyways. That could happen by the way that you don't have to fight anyone. Yeah. Yeah, so this is one of those like, yes. Oh no. Oh no. No, not this. Not a double battle. And also, what a weird double battle. No, not like this. Well, at least it's, uh, it's a work in progress. So. Wow, all right. Mm -hmm. Move around for a second. Yep. Battle bike, baby. Ice cream all the way down. It's not gonna do anything. Uh, all right. We're getting, getting somewhere. Well, we're not really getting somewhere. All right, let's see. Let's see what happens at this door. The fact that I think this is the furthest I've ever been in Battle Bike. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Something on the right. Supposedly. Is it a kid? Nope, it's just another double bottle. God damn it. Rich boy Russ and guitarist Anton Antonin or Antonio. I, that O looks like a D in my opinion, but whatever. Who am I to judge? 
Quick work of this team. All right. How could I have done that? Yes. Oh my god. This music is not doing well for me. All right, there you go. We made it to the end. Can't believe. One battle point for making it through at some point. Eventually, when you get uh, more battles in your belt, you'll be able to. Oh my god, I forgot it saved. Oh, kind of gross. You'll be able to buy stuff off a certain shop and stuff. Alright, so before we hit another. Before we hit the battle factory, because I don't want to be passing out on you guys. I gotta find, uh... Oh, there's a cave I'm looking for. Problem is, I think I need to replace someone to get surf, because I need surf... Not surf, uh... Waterfall. I could teach it to... Actually, I should. I should teach it. As much as I hate waterfall, I'm gonna teach it. There we go. Obviously, Elfie's gonna be the one available. That's when we should be at elite. Alright. Oh my god. There we go. Alright, so let's uh, take care of a few things. So we're gonna go. Try to get uh, a set Pokemon that exists in that cave. I gotta find out where the fucking cave starts though. Oh, okay, there we go. Alright. Alright. Oh my god, I could have just gone around like that. No, oh, fuck me. This tree is oddly acting up. It moves every time you touch it. And you can't cut it down for wood. Um, oh yeah, I forgot I had the... So you use the Wilma pair. And then, fun fact, the random tree shows uh, attacking, essentially speaking. Which, it's a common trope in Pokemon now where the tree is a pseudo -wudo. And Sudo is a pretty decent rock uh, type, to say the least. Not like the greatest or anything like that, but pretty decent. And then, uh, we'll show off Sudo, we'll show off um, another Pokemon that's here. But, uh, we'll also show off uh, another area that's extended. My fear is touching it and it dying. Well, I do have him, so it literally does nothing. Imp can't really touch it. Oh, good thing I actually switched. Oof. Imagine if I had a um, overheat stuck in there. Uh huh. Let's see if that's even enough. If not, I might have to nightshade it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to nightshade it. There's only one in existence, and it's this one. So if you really want, you're gonna have to fight for your life. All right. There you go. Now we're lowered. We attack, or not attack, but we can throw up. Uh, all right. Really? All right, sir. Well, I need you to get in the ball. My repeat ball's not gonna work because I never caught the Pokemon. Got them. Uh, of course, yep. It broke free. It's like it's being owned by something. I would throw another um, 
Pokemon, but one where blocked in from moving. And two, um... Actually, I don't... Oh, okay, I was gonna say, I don't think it can touch me. Anyways. I realize Sudo might be a, a shy gal. Let me just close my eyes for a second. Never mind. All right, Imp. Uh, we're gonna just keep chucking Ultra Balls till we can no more, and hopefully. Oh my God! Hopefully it works. It's stretched. Please, just please, Sudo, get in the ball. That's all I want. That's all I really want right now. All right, there we go. Boom, it works. There we go. The only pseudo ever in the game, as far as I'm aware of. Mm -hmm. uh, an because it is an imposter tree. Yes. But yeah, so whether you defeated or captured it, now this tree never exists in this little divot or diviate. Is Sudowoodo amazing? No, it's not. So, as far as I'm aware of, it's like nothing to write home about. But it's also not that bad. It's also pretty good in a way. Like, you get in later generation, it gets better. Let me just put that in perspective. Later generation gets better because sturdy works a little bit more different. Artisan's cave. You can kind of take a guess who's here. Um, but uh, yeah. It has Rockhead, which prevents recoil or sturdy, even though sturdy doesn't get buffed until like later. Artisan's cave, which ironically we haven't encountered anyone know how to repel on. So let's see what happens here. What's up here? Oh yeah, it's that corner that you can actually go down earlier. And the funny part is I don't even have a repel on. Then again, I think it's uh, cause of Torkoal. Torkoal's passive white smoke uh, doesn't do uh, wonders in areas like this. So let's just, there you go, you see? The white smoke is what preventing from encountering the most broken Pokemon, one of the more broken Pokemon in the game. Smeargle, who has terrible stats but can learn anything with Sketch. Like, I think he has, actually, no, I think it's more viable than Sableye itself. If it was less viable than Sableye, I'd be saying a lot about this in terms of, like, it sucking. But Smeargle's a cool Pokemon and it can learn Spore. It can, basically, yeah, there you go. It's, so it sketches out whatever move, last move you use, and then it learns it. So like, for example, this Smeargle that we're gonna catch always knows Fake Out. If you delete the move, the move no longer exists and you have to sketch it again. So, and you can only have one, I think, one sketch move at a time. And by that I mean like the actual move sketch, you can only have it one at a time. But uh, we're calling this by the man, the myth, and the legend, Bob Bros. So that's where we're going with. Also, it's a painter, Bob was a painter. All right, I don't want to encounter anymore because this is the cave for sure that has a uh, just pure smeargle, and you're like, ooh, do I really want just smeargles all over the place? I don't know if there's anyone to help here or uh, talk to you, which is why I'm like just wandering around for a second. And it's always gonna be smeargle. Uh huh. 
Don't do this to me, Smurgle. Just go away. Alright, I don't think there's anything worthwhile here, if I'm correct. Besides catching a bunch of Schmeargles, that level will run the level 40 range, or 50, or close to 50. So, on the bright side, uh, overheat so slow that they can't mimic any move that we have. Yep. So, huh? Of course, the artisans are blocking it. Blast and burn. Sketching. Oh no. We're not sketching here. There you go. Problem solved, Smirko's gone. Alright. Obviously, I think there's something on that stone. There's not much to see in this Smirko cave or your artisan's cave. Besides the fact that there's a bunch of Smirkles. Um. Sure. I think it's ironically it's close. I think the one we caught was level 40 in this one, or like 48 in this. Maybe another one? Uh, whatever. So, no point in cat trying to capture Smeargle. I can't escape. This is gonna struggle? Yep. This is struggle, by the way. Whenever you run out of PP or moves in general, struggle was uh, the move you went. There you go. Let's just sink. Competitive play that we're never really gonna ever get to into. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's go, let's go, let's get out of here, please. Dude, as much as I like the Elite Four, it's just, uh, what the fuck? Oh, this is the guy I saw, there was something sticking out a long tail ahead, it was hiding underneath the boil and kept staring at me. That's impl That's just talking about the Shamir goal that uh, is like, hello, and then proceeds to run away. For whatever reason it is, I don't know if the guy is like truly scary or anything like that. But, yeah. Uh... Right, let's check out Bob Ross and the imposter. Okay, rocket. Oh, prevents recoil. Actually, that's not that bad. Because Sturdy is kind of useless, on it, honestly. But that just basically means if you teach this thing Double Edge or eventually in later generations Head Smash, it will never get recoil for it. And this is Bob Ross who learned Fake Out. Who has a hasty nature, so I believe it's lower defense. Um, yeah, lower defense, more speed. And what that does is... Um, and it helps Shmeargle because Shmeargle is not great by any means, as you can tell by its stats. But what's again, what sets Shmeargle apart is it it learns every fuck it learns every freaking move, fucking move, um, through sketch. So you can make a perfect false swiper at level 100 using Spore and stuff, and then it has its own tempo which prevents confusion, which is pretty good. And Artisan's Cave is the only cave you're gonna get it in. So let's uh let's pop some pop some new areas. So not only do we have so we have Battle Frontier, which there's not much to go around with Battle Frontier, obviously unless you're doing the competitive aspect of it. There is stuff to do not in Lily Cove, but in the extension. And I'm gonna tell you something, the extension is like an homage to Gen 2. Almost. Not really an homage, because not really paying tribute to anything. But if you like Gen 2 Pokemon, or you obviously you've never seen Gen 2 Pokemon in 3D sprites, let's just say, 
we're doing that right now. I think also you can we can find a certain Pokemon I want to use. And this is like one of my favorites, I think. I could be wrong. Again, we have the uh, Acrobike. Acrobike's gonna help us get to one of the areas because obviously if you weren't, or well, it's not obvious, but if you weren't here, um, you need the Acrobike to get to this area. And then there's an extension somewhere. I gotta find it though. I don't think it's here. Wait, I go into the wrong area altogether. We have money to just burn and spend, but like, I think I went to the wrong area. God damn it. Fuck me. Yeah, sorry. I, I ran back into the grass because I was going to check. Is there really just nothing else there? Oh, not to. Yeah, sorry, not to. Not, not happening. I need to find the extension. I need it now. Oops. Is it here? No. Here's the ex ext extension. There you go. So this is the extension. Uh-huh. This Pokemon seem mother different than Hoenn. Let me see if I can pop though. There you go. I'm like, can we pop? There is another. There's fucking Gen 2 Pokemon here. Dude, it's fucking amazing. Mind you, Sun Current is the worst. But... But it's Gen 2 Pokemon. I'm... Well, I wouldn't say bias. But I really like uh, like a lot of the earlier Gen Pokemon designs. Even though they're super simplistic and, sh and shit. Like, Sun Current is nothing complicated. Um, Sunflower, its evolution is even less complicated than a legit Sunflower. So... Um, just because Sunkern itself is, I think, the worst Pokemon base, uh, bass, uh, bass, base stat wise. Let's call it, call it a bad seed. Again, I don't think I have the evolutionary item to evolve it, so. Dude, hoot hoot. These. I well, knocked out wasn't great, but it was unique in a way from compared to the other uh, starting birds, where it has a um, where it had its special defense higher than its like attack, which is unnatural, and it can learn psychic moves, even though it's not part psychic. Uh, Well, the Koo Clock. I could have, I was gonna say, I was thinking I'm like, Koo Koo Clock. But no, I'm like, it does not gonna fit. The Koo Clock. Which is ironic, it sounds like I'm trying to say the word cool and I'm having a stroke saying that. To the expansion's like, ah, oh my god, yes. Give me the expansion. Safari Zone, any, yes. Oh my god, the best boy. Look at him. Smiling and everything. Dude, the best. Look at this little, little, little man. I'm gonna call him. Well, I'm gonna call him this name because we're gonna evolve him potentially. Dude, Whooper never frowns. Never have I ever seen a sprite that has Wooper frowning. Until we got a uh, regional variant that's coming up that's ground poison. And I'm like, okay, that's pretty cool. And I'm going to use it in my team because it has uh, water absorb. So it nullifies a weakness already. Oh, Sun Kern, you suck. No, leave me alone. You're like the devil himself. Ah, uh, it. Didn't mean to catch it. I didn't mean to catch it. Whatever. It would only it didn't waste that uh, out. Well, it wasted one Pokeball, but whatever. Eh, whatever. It's not. It's not it. 
you are cursed. You are a cursed creature. I don't like Sunkern, even though I do have a Sunflora that won me a game in Battle Revolution. So, no. So, this is the downside to the expansion zone. There's so much to do there. And it's like, no, I want to do more. But let's take a look at uh, what we got here. The bad seed. Not in nature. Raises, I believe, uh, attack and lower special defense. Interesting. Sunny day, of course. Endeavor, Mega Drain. Sorry, yeah, Mega Drain. Then we got Poo the Ku Clock. Impish, interesting. Didn't want that, though, if I was going to use it. It lowers your special attack, but ups your defense. Mind you, Noctowl is not known for its special, uh, for its physical defense. It's more for like its special because it actually can attack with moves like Confusion and Psychic, but whatever. And there's Derp, who's docile, who's got Water Absorb. Ooh, interesting. I, and then let's see what Curse looked like. Careful Nature, interesting. Same move. I like derp and I'm glad it's docile I'm gonna I'm a continue back to the expansion so we can look at more Pokemon that are in here it's breathtaking I like well I, I like the expansion zone so that, but that's just me well it's not just me. There's probably other people that like the expansion zone, but like, dude, the expansion zone so far. I hate it. It's one of those I'm like, you better get like the acro bike and just start hopping. <gasps> yes, I love it. Milk tank. Even though it's like a demon. I just want to please capture it, please. I really love. Well, I like milk tank a lot. Oh my god. And I think it's a rare spawn. I think it's a rare spawn though. I hope it's not. I think it is. I want to hunt Milk Tank down. I really want to hunt it down. I'm gonna hunt it down. Potentially for a little bit. Dude, a rare spawn milk tank. Oh, dude, Lediba. <clears throat> not that great. It's, it's a shame it's not great. Let me throw that out there. It is a really good, like, designed-wise, or at least I like design of it. But, unfortunately, it's not that great. Lediba and Ledian suck. Uh... a baby boobop I don't think I'm gonna be able to well I gotta start it from here then god damn it uh nah, I'll just call it baby lady I couldn't couldn't think of anything it's gonna look weird because I decided to not uh, I decided to leave the no space. Um, dude, milk tank. Fuck me, it's so. Oh, Turdy Ursa, cool. Turdy Ursa is a cool little little guy. Um, it evolves into Ursa at level thirty, so it's already ready to evolve. Um, And uh, it's a normal type that benefits off of getting status inflictions in terms of like if it gets burned or paralyzed or something. It actually gets stronger in a way. Or at least not turning yours about Ursaring. Because it has the guts ability with an amazing attack stat. The problem is obviously its stats as a whole are not that great, but. Um, let me see if I. I'm not gonna fit it's not gonna fit so I'm just gonna do an acronym which is uh build uh bear 
Bab. Bill Dalbert. Well, I forgot the second, the third period. God damn it. Whatever. Yeah, I know you guys don't want me to. Oh my god. It's such a good Pokemon, and I can't believe I ran away. Oh, Apom. Monkey. Uh, not great in this game. Uh, better once Gen 4 kicks in, because it gets an evolution. Where it becomes Ambipom. And Ambipom has way, well, way better stats compared to Apom, for obvious reasons. And Apom's actually kind of creepy, actually, if you look at it. Ugh, it's uh, kind of gross. Apom, get in the goddamn ball, you malarkey. Not even a great Pokemon. Just get in the ball. Alright. Thank you. Save us all the trouble. God damn. Dude, the milk tank. Fucking can't believe I choked that. Of course, I got a nugget for my troubles. And the thing is, I don't remember what the rare spawn was, but I believe it was Milk Tank, and I can't believe I choked. I kind of don't want to leave this area yet. Ah, oh my god. Me and my fast menuing. Thank god. Hey, little boy, I'm not going to catch you. I just saw Milk Tank. Give me Milk Tank. I will literally replace my entire team with a Gen 2 set just so we can do, uh, just to have fun a little bit in post game. By the same time, no. Give me milk tank. I want my milk tank. I want some milk. Please. Wow. Thank you. I'm like, oh, of course it's you. You cursed monkey. Wait, I've caught you and I want you. I want the milk tank. That I was cheated out of. Oh my god, son. Sup, son, Kern. You soulless eyed motherfucker that has no life and has one of the worst base stats. Oh shit, Pineco. It's not that bad, actually. I'm gonna throw a ball. Pineco is actually very interesting. It's a bug type that evolves at level 30. I'm surprised it actually was that easy to catch. And evolves into the one of the very few bug steel type Pokemon. It's very defensive. It's like I four wall fortress. It's like a um, call him a boom. He's the uh, the bomb. Actually, I know I'll call him Bomb Spin. Because, uh, I don't know if Forge is really known for self destructing, but, uh. Whatever. Bomb Spin. I know I've encountered pine cones that explode. And also the fact that pine cones in the fucking next gen, next gen, gen game, dude. So we're gonna get to see Fortress in action. Oh my god, Turdier, so please. We love you and stuff. But I need my milk tank. Oh my god. Please. The worst part is I... Actually, I think I can still find Milk Tank if I go down here. Unless the shine... The, the shine. The, the sign of, that says Safari Zone peers downwards. We're still in the same area. Which kind of tells you what area we're in, no way. I'm doing a, a whole other scar... I'm doing like another scar moment right now. I might just... Come back to it later. Uh, really? Really? There you go. Uh, ah, oh, whatever. We got. Quite, we caught ourselves a at least a pine cone. That's interesting. Hopefully, hopefully there's another rare spawn on the other side uh, that I catch it. Leave me alone. I don't want you after you decided not to get caught. Also, your eyes are creepy as hell. 
the smile is also creepy, but the eyes is what gets me. There you go. You see, we're now in another zone of the saf safari zone. Oh my god. Just because I wasted time with the milk tank. I'm going back. <laughs> One more. As you can tell, this zone is so big and hopefully you found a method of getting money. Obviously, we're cheesing a bit with some of the money and rare candies and stuff. Uh, but you know what the worst part was? That milk tank was level 40. Milk tank's not the greatest Pokemon. But the bit would have been good. Oh, I went too far down. Or too too down too down too soon. Um the bit would have been funny to me. Cause the milk tank's a, a monster early game because it's I think it's defenses and it's actually faster than with Quaza actually, ironically enough, in base stats. Oh shit, Stadler. Um Stadler's cool. But yeah, Sandler's, uh is another unfortunate Gen 2 Pokemon that uh, that isn't too great. It does learn some interesting moves like Hypnosis and learn some Psychic moves and stuff. But um, it doesn't really become, it's not that great. And then it actually gets an evolution though. And um, Legend of Arceus where it becomes a weird ear, which is Psychic Normal, which is nothing new. But it's stronger than a goddamn Sandler, in my opinion. But that just tells you also that Sandler can use it Eevee Light if necessary. Oh. This is. This is red nose, even though it's not red. I under know that. Well, red end, or actually no. We'll do news. There you go. Unfortunately, E won't fit, and I don't want to rewrite all that. God damn, though. Oh my god, Marie. Marie is so good. Or at least I like it because it's an early, it's an early, uh, early electric type Pokemon that you can get your hands on before the first gym, which is flying in Gen 2. It's also not that bad. As long as you're okay with, uh, um, I say, as long as you're okay with slow electric types because its evolution Ampharos is not that, not that fast. Um, I had a moment here. I was like, what do I go and call you? I'm calling Lighthouse. These are all just references to other, um, uh, other things. Am I going to be able to fit this? I think I am. By a f brief moment. But yeah, the whole reference to the Ampharos that we had to get special medicine for that in another city that had an, an Elite Four, or not Elite Four, that had a gym to help the Ampharos get better. And then Jasmine was there and she was like, thank you. I will battle you at the gym. Cause her only responsibility was the damn Ampharos. Look at it, look at him, look at her. Derp, I'm, I'm good. Mrs. Derp. Oh yeah, this is the whole, if I had a Actually, not that. Is there... Key items? Not Acrobike. Uh... Oh, here's a good rod. I need to get the great rod. Just realized. Yikes. Who's in the water? Is it Remoraid? It's fucking Magikarp. You never leave, do you? Nope. Sorry, Magikarp. Don't like, don't want you. Never have, never will. Oh, that's another competition with Magikarp uh, gets involved. All right, let's try to get the Pokeball, which is probably like a nugget and stuff. Oh my God, Gligor. B 
based on its level, I'm assuming it's the rare spawn, so it's gonna like run away and we're gonna just watch it. Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. Go near. Yep. It's a rare spawn. So Gligar is a rare spawn oh yeah, big pearl, okay. So Gligar is a rare spawn here, which I like Gligar. It sucks until Gen 4 when it gets a little bit better with Gliscor. And then not only that, um, uh, how should I put it? Gliscor gets even better with Poison Heal. So, I don't remember if there's an expansion on the other side. When we run out of uh, steps here, we'll check out the other side. Oh my god, please. Please? There you go. Why would you do this to me, Lord? Why would you forsake me and give me a goddamn sun curtain? Also, I think I am running out of... Oh, well, no, I'm not running out of time. I just need to take steps. Uh, also, the fact that the whole idea of, of like, oh, a milk tank threw me off. Oh, my God. Let it bow, please. What happens when you're looking for a specific Pokemon? All that money's gonna go to waste. No Apom. You also have very creepy eyes. They, their eyes look like X's up close. Well, pixel limits, but. Limitation. Ambipom? You weird fuck. Leave me alone. Ambipom's so unsettling with his creepy, grabby hands. Ugh. I don't know, I never really liked Ambipom. As it harasses me multiple times. I got no food for you, leave me be. Come on. Alright, so is this grass devoid of any Pokemon but Ambipom? What is this? Alright, well, that's better than nothing, I'll be honest, that's, it's a sun curtain instead. Because I think we'll do one more round of Safari and check the other side to see if there's a, um, if there's an expansion. Oh my god, through a ball, I'm just going to waste more time. Thank you. Thank you, even better. A semi-rare spawn. It's the same one, I think, in my opinion. Um, yeah, we'll check the other side, because I think... I don't know if the other side has an expansion. I want to say no. But that's probably not the case. Yeah, okay, so... We're going to check the other side. So we'll go in there one more time. Check the other side. Nothing there. We'll try to make the uh, make our way to the other side of the safari zone, which is not going to probably be feasible in any way. And, uh... Sorry, this music for the safari zone. Kind of wish they chose more music besides this. So, let's see. I don't think there is an expansion zone on this side. I could be wrong. Of course. I forgot about that. Of course I forgot about that. There might be an expansion zone on that side. Let me just, uh, you know, waste my time running, acro oh, running across the safari zone. Expansion! Oh. Oh, okay, no, I thought it was... thought it was a totally different area. I was going to say, I'm like, oh my god, how did I not notice this running around the safari zone? Uh, 
Oh my god, Houndour. Yes. I promise you, none of this is planned, but... Because if this was all planned, I would I would guarantee the catch and not just... And not just pray to God that everything catches in a ball. The only thing I don't like about the Safari Zone, you can't put the, these fuckers to sleep. Um, don't know what to call you. Just gonna call you Blaze. Can't think of anything. Makes no sense, but I can't think of anything right now. Because I did not expect to find you, Houndour. I'm expecting to find another fat behemoth. Yes! It's not as powerful as the other one, but I don't care. I think the lower the level, the better, honestly, to capture it. Uh, uh, go near. Please, Milk Tank. I love you with every fire of my being right now. Please, come home. You son of a bitch. You, you fat cow. I will grill you to the bitter... There's so much Pokemon. Well, at least as you can tell, there's so many Gen 2 Pokemon in the expansion. Obviously, we're not seeing much of a difference because I'm in a specific area to find a specific one. But, like, for example, we encounter Houndour, and I'm like, I did not expect Houndour at all in the area. And now I'm going to see it everywhere. Um, not only that, there's... um, I believe... There you go, you see? Thank God. Well, we're gonna stop with the whole... Safari Zone. I'll probably go back to see the other side. And we're actually gonna put away our... Not put away, but we're gonna put our team to the side for a moment. So let me do that. If only boxes were faster to operate. Yeah, we'll grab you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna evolve Pokemon, actually. Because a lot of these Gen 2 Pokemon are already ready to evolve. Our little, our little derp. I don't think I'm gonna do that Steven Stone fight actually. Now the more I think about it, I'm like, I don't think I'm it one, they're like level in the level seventies. Two, um uh, Well maybe maybe we will actually, depending on time. Cause I'm doing this based off how much time I have left. Alright, one I'm like one Pokemon shy of just evolutions. Alright. Let's start uh evolving. So, prepare yourself for the evolution music for a bit. Start with Lighthouse, who has the longest uh, way to evolve. Wants to learn Thunder. Nice, what do you, what do you, why? Oh, yeah, sure. You can learn Thunder. I don't mind. Thunder Shock, please. There's little Lighthouse. Going from blue and yellow to Flaffy, who is white and pink with some black. I don't know the blue little thing. Flaffy, who has d uh, L A uh, L A. Oh my God, F L double A double F. Bomb spin. Dude, is the fact that the Gen 2 Pokemon are ready to evolve already. It's perfect. Look at that. Boom. 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 Becoming. Bomb spin becomes. Fortress. 
one of the bulkiest Pokemon known to men. Or one of the bulkiest. And got better with time. Because eventually it gets like Volt Switch and stuff, which is kind of weird. Bab. Look at that. Has the most fearsome attack stat of some of the Gen 2 Pokemon. Again, only downside is its speed, which is what really holds it back. There we go, cuckoo, uh, cuckoo clock. Actually, I could have gone, I could have done cuckoo. Actually, no, it would have been coco, is what it looked like. Coo is with double O. Um, yeah, doing some of these evolutions to Knocked Owl, not great, not terrible, well, depends on what your definition of not terrible is, but yeah, all these, po luckily all the Gen 2 Pokemon are like ready to evolve, they're like, let's evolve, let's do this, and they're like around the 30, so it's not just terrible to the uh, goddamn... Uh, train them so it's not that abysmal it is still abysmal but not as abysmal if you think and then one of the worst pokemons out there Ledian who unfortunately has a pretty cool design if you ask me when it comes to bug types oh yeah you can learn yawn derp of course you can we'll get rid of uh, tail whip who the hell uses tail whip not me of the first ever groundwater type. Now becomes one of my favorites, the Quag Sire. Look at the absolute unit. Which I just realized that we might be able to find like I think Mantine in the water, but I'm not I'm not gonna do that hunt. There's a Pokemon we've completely ignored that we probably have to eventually get. Alright. I don't think we have a evolutionary stone for this, but we'll see if we do. Because I think it's a sun stone? Question mark, I think. Well, let me put cursed, because I caught the other one. Um, I don't remember. I think yeah, I think it is a sunstone, but I don't remember if I have one or if I even got any. I'm not gonna spawn one right now and be like, haha, I have a sunstone now. Ooh, but and then uh, let's look at uh these bad boys. Docile nature, impish, which is not as bad because both its uh, attacking sets or anyways are like both types that it has it's physical so but you're a screen setter unfortunately knocked out so impish serious nature is neutral and then this is the ability guts so if you're suffering from a status it doubles its attack so from basically uh, almost 100 to almost 200 which is pretty scary in just one turn with Fury Swipes, Faith Attack, which it can't take advantage of, and then Rest. If it had Rest Sleep Talk, that's really good. Because your status, and you actually take advantage of Guts. And then we got Boom Spin, which ironically actually makes sense. Boom, or Bomb Spin, not Boom Spin. Bomb Spin, which is the bomb, self-destruct. And then the Spin, the Rapid Spin. Then I planned that out. Actually, that's really good. Relaxed. It ups his defense, lowers his speed. Fortress is not known for speed. Its speed is like non existent, but its defense, top notch. It's like. Oh shoot, I forgot to evolve Flaffy again. Oops. <laughs> I forgot Flaffy evolved again. Yeah, oops. Uh, it's quiet nature, so it's not great in terms of the speed department, but uh, I forgot to evolve it. Oops. Uh, actually, let me check my. Obviously, items are going to be scuffed, so don't pay attention to all this. I was trying to figure it out, and... 
blue stone. I, I don't have a. I don't think I have a stone for this. The lad, the little sun current. Let me take a look. No big problem. Zing, uh, Carbos, full restore. I don't think I have one for the for a little one. No, I do not. So we're never gonna see Sunkern's evolution. But we'll see Hound Hours. We also learned Faint Attack. Interesting. What do you have to? Oh yeah, for sure. I'll definitely teach Faint Attack. I forget the Hound Hour and Hound Doom line don't learn any good fire moves for a while. But of a good fire type, nonetheless. It, frail, a little, a little bit frail on the defensive side, but I, I like the design. Obviously, it's like super simple. It's just a demon dog, but it hits it on the money, dude. So cool, and it's actually strong in the special side. And the fact that it's both its, uh, both of its uh, typings are the its um, special. It's actually not that bad. And then I forgot, there you go, Flappy, we're gonna evolve you again. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to, didn't mean to neglect you, because I forgot you didn't evolve into Amphros yet. There you go. But we, uh, fixed it. Ta-da. We got Amphros. Or Amphoros. All right. Let's move some Pokemon around. Blaze, what did you have anyways? You were bashful in nature and flash fire. Obviously, we know the moves. Quiet and it was static. All right, well. Not a, not a bad thing. Also, I got to check the stamina out. And they explode. Quite a few Pokemon that I completely just glossed over. Oh, uh, first... Back and we'll pull this cretin out. Just letting you know that Kecleon's well, Kecleon is special, not special. It's the one that is Jolly Nature on the first go. It's also the first Kecleon you encounter because, like, oh, Steven's like, here you go, here's the, the Devon thing. Let's put everyone else back in the party. Lugs it out. Actually, no, I gotta kick someone out. Uh, and I gotta get more rare candies. I am gonna deposit um, Imp for now. There you go, Imp. You're gonna be in there for now. I gotta move some, uh, not items. Move. Well, I gotta move items, just not from my Pokemon. There's a reason I'm doing that, because uh, we're going to pump a certain someone with some candy. Also, I can't really get rid of Arya, because I needed Arya to fly. It's in Moss Deep. I had a moment, I was like, uh, where is this creature feature? So, after defeating the Elite Four, you can actually come to wrong house or wrong building altogether. You can come to Masti, because this is where Steven Stone resides, and head, head to his house, which is in the corner. And you'll see this Pokeball. Pick it up. It contains a Pokemon. Take the Pokeball? Yes. Now, this is a special Pokemon. I'm gonna call it a Mega Mind. Or. Yeah, whatever. Doesn't really have a huge head. And I don't know, well, I don't know if people will associate Metagross, uh, this Pokemon, or the final evolution with Will Farrow, but. but. Yeah, so there's that, and there's this note, which obviously, if you didn't read the letter first, and you kind of just came in there and left, and you never got to see this letter, which is to me, to us, or to whoever's playing. Do a little soul searching, and then as far as I know, he's like, take the Pokeball on the desk. There's a Beldum, my favorite Pokemon. He's counting on us to eventually raise it. 
And that's where we come in to just pump it with candy. Because it's at level 5. Not a great level. Because especially when it only knows takedown. And takedown does recoil. So. And by this point in the game, there's not that many areas to train off of. So. I'm trying to think what. While we're doing this, I'm trying to think of what other area is there that um, has Pokemon I am not aware of. Unfortunately, Milk Tank's gonna be elusive as hell, so I'm not going after the Milk Tank. Because if not, this the the rest of this whatever we have left would be, which I think is about like a little bit less than 20 minutes. Uh, it's gonna be literally Milk Tank hunting, and I do want to show one more battle area in the Battle Frontier. So. Let me see if I can speed this up. As in, like, let me just see if I can click faster and it responds faster. Oh my god, please. So, here's also the gimmick. You notice how it hasn't evolved in a while? This is the... So, you know how we had Bagon? And Bagon evolves into Sheldon, and Sheldon evolves into Salamence? That's a pseudo-legendary. Beldum is another pseudo-legendary. Yes, folks. Gen 3 had two pseudo-legendaries in the game. And you know what that means. Very high level level up requirements to evolve. So we got Matang. Obviously we've seen we saw it during the the um, Team Magma incident when we were uh, over there helping Steven. And we looked. We took a quick look at his team, which was the the Matang, the Scarmory, and the Agron. So, but yes, Gen two, uh, Gen three, not Gen two. Gen three had two pseudo legendaries. You had Salamence, who the Elite Four Drake holds. Ridiculous, mind you. And then Steven Stone, who holds the other one. This other one. So instead of, I think it's, uh, for Bagon, it's, I think it's 30 and 55. As you could tell, uh, I was going to say Megamind, but Matang technically is what his name is. Um, Beldum goes to Matang at level 20. Right? So it's a Matang. And then from Matang, it goes to its final evolution at level 45. Sounds like a lot, right? It's... It's a bit much, but that's what you get. That's what you want, because pseudo legendaries are really good. So, obviously, we're not going to be using this, but um, it's no slouch either. It's just luckily it's a little bit easier to, or at least there's less um, levels you have to like climb over to get this one instead of Salamence. And in Ruby and Sapphire, you have to not only fight the Salamence, which Drake has, which is a pseudo-legendary, you have to fight the Metagross that Steven has. And then Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, it's a Mega, which makes it 10 times worse. So, take that as you will. It is not a fun time. But it's a really good Pokemon in a way because it has uh, the ability, which it doesn't change throughout its evolution, which is why I didn't show like Beldum initially. Um, and it always has clear body, it's, which means it's basically like uh, overheats uh, white smoke. It prevents stat lowering. So I'm not gonna lie, I thought for a second I was wrong, and I was like, oh, is it gonna evolve at 42? But yeah. I think out of all the pseudo legendaries I've ever encountered or used, I'm gonna deny Iron Defense. Um, I like I think Tyranitar the most, even though Tyranitar does have the blurry weakness of fighting. Look, this Mega Mine, and this is Steven Stone's Ace in the Hole. The this lovely beauty with um, four legs. And it's a uh, bitch to get at times. Metagross. This is Steven's ace. In the game. 
very difficult to get because it's, uh, it's impish, actually. Ooh, interesting. Basically, his special is going to be non-existent. But you see that attack stat and defense stat? It means that any steel type move or round, if you taught it earthquake and stuff, like anything besides psychic or any other special moves, is going to hit pretty hard. So, that's Mega Mine. A pseudo legendary, we're going to keep in a box because we just spammed it with rare candy, so its stats are actually not that great because there's no EVs involved in it. But I feel like the IVs on that thing is pretty interesting. There you go. Well, we'll, we'll make them special. We'll put them here. But yeah, it's a, it's a pseudo legend that evolved. I think it's a, er, one of the pseudo legends that evolves very early, actually. Unless we want to count Gudra. Because Gudra, or actually, no, not Gudra. Gudra evolves at a certain level in a certain condition. But whatever. That's, uh, that's neither here nor there. Well, going back to Battle Frontier because I am uh, not gonna try to fight the uh, find the milk tank. Nor am I gonna attempt the mock bike because I could be at the Safari Zone forever. Actually, if you don't think that, I can. I can be there forever. Yes, battle. Okay. So in this battle factory, which is a little bit interesting, you take rental Pokemon. This is gonna be cursed red text, obviously gonna show up at some point. There it is. Um So this is the idea. You're gonna take rented Pokemon, battle with them. They have certain sets, certain EVs and IVs, or certain EVs at least. And then you battle your opponent. What's interesting about this is you get you can choose to swap one of your Pokemon for the opponent's Pokemon. And obviously, and then this guy will tell you a research of what the next opponent opponent is. So if like for example, they'll tell you the trainer in particular has no clear favorites when it comes to types. And the favorite favorite battle side appears to be weakening the flow from the start. So. We get to choose, so we get that information, and then we can choose what Pokemon to get. So we have Grovile, who's relaxed nature. No, again, they were not the greatest Pokemon either, so just realize that. Whereas Fear Cutter, Endeavor, Brick Break, and Double Team. Not great because of the whole specials of Abysmal, but it has no special moves. We got Dustox, who is a docile nature, nature neutral, I believe. Prevents added effects, so if let's say for example fake out goes off, it doesn't flinch. Uh, so you get to get whirlwind or if you get psybeam. Silver uh, wind. It's not great stat wise, at least his attacking stats are even, but his speed is pretty good. I think his speed is better than uh yeah, it's better than Crowbiles. Then Croconaut, one of the Gen 2 uh, Pokemon. Gen 2 starters, mid or it's a middle evolution. Docile. It has Flash. Fuck off, nah. There's the there's the cursed uh, ambi bomb with relaxed nature. And then we got Yama, dude, who has better special than the physical. So and it's also relaxed nature and has compound eyes. Ew. What is with these sets? Ew. Focus band, which it's not a focus sash, so it doesn't. It's not guaranteed to save us. Oh, what are these sets? I think I might take, uh, out of all the sets I saw, I'm gonna take Dust Tox, uh, Graveler, and, uh, Grovile, because yikes is this team terrible. Like, yikes are these Pokemon terrible. I don't know what it is if we do open. So, what we'll do, we'll do, I think, one battle, retire, and then do open and see what it looks like. But yeah, this is the whole gimmick here where we battle. So we know she has a wall buffet. Which we can actually bypass that. Because wall buffet only has counter, um, mirror coat, charm. And unfortunately, with wall buffet's shadow tag, we can't really switch. 
It's also pretty dangerous to attack. Because Wobble, yeah, Wobble, use counter, please. I would whirlwind him out. Oh, well, well, he's safeguarded. It doesn't really matter when you're poisoned. Get out of here. Yeah, Fanfy. Interesting. Man, kind of regret not having a crocodile now. F fuck me. Of course. Ironically enough, as I already have very pretty bad speed. How did you hit that? So the move Endeavor, which you've ne which we've never seen, takes the opponent uh, takes the opponent to my HP. So if I am halfway, which it looks like I'm halfway, it will even out. So if I'm at 81, it'll take it to 81. If I'm at this, it'll take me to the it'll take the opponent to the. So it's very interesting to say the least. Well, at least we got that out of the way. And then there's Wobble Fit. And then there was one. We just inflected with poison. Let's speed up the process here. There you go. Look at all that health. At fi that's at 55. It's so gross. Luckily, they with Wobble Fit, what was a problem with Wobble Fit is that uh, if you, Wobble Fit was fighting Wobble Fit with leftovers, None of them could switch out, and they'd be stuck at an endless fight. Um, as far as I'm aware of, or as far as they did in the game, they changed it. What the fuck? Oh, I completely did not notice that Kabuto. Oh, we in my bones. Um. Well, they changed it where ghost types could escape the shadow tag and uh, Pokemon's with shadow tag as well. So. It's uh, not a bad gig. But it is what it is. Wow. Then again, I gotta realize it's uh, a Kabuto, and that ancient power is a uh, rock type. Alright, cool, so protect. Mega Drain is what I think I saw, and ancient power. Because I think I want the Kabuto. Then again, I don't know what this Kabuto is doing. Oh my god, excuse me. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hiccup. Mega Drain, Ancient Power, Protect. Uh-huh. I'm not gonna say anything. But I'm gonna say something. Why did it protect? That's number one. Number two, uh... It didn't use Ancient Power. I know Ancient Power only has, like, I think, five uses, but, like, come on, man. Come on, Breeder. And then there's this thing. There we go. So, no. No, no, I want to retire. Yes. I believe Open gives you better Pokemon. There you go. The red tax is going to come back. Red text, no? Okay, cool. I believe open... Yeah, there's a red text. Like, I can breathe, thanks. Um, I think open level will take everyone to level 100. And then red text curse comes back uh, right about now. Coming up, boom. I have no clear favorite types. Battle solve appears a high risk, high return. So, high risk, high return. Sorry, so now we got better Pokemon at level 100 now. With Illuminate, of course. There's Cherry Berry. 
Attract Surf, Confuse Raid, and Thunder Wave. Ah, oh, victory by the way. Uh, Gen 1 Pokemon. Quiet nature. Ew, why are we getting shitty natures though? Duck Trio. The Adamant. Oh my god, please, I love it. Meganium. I feel like they make certain Pokemon great and then other Pokemon's terrible. Even though admittedly Meganium's not that great, anyways. But. You know what? It might be better than whatever the f fuck movesets are these. Why is it always like quiet, quiet, adamant, quiet, docile? It's like the worst. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rent them. Yeah, I'm gonna rent uh, these three Pokemon. It's terrible. All right, let's see what we got here. I heard Sweet Kiss, so I'm assuming uh, one of the Pokemon has Sweet Kiss. You fuck! I want you, but you totally avoided me. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? Get chopped into pork chops. Even though you stuff for pigs and you're a cow. So. What? Oh yeah, I was like, what? Do you have Shadow Ball? And normal type, I forgot. Even though it doesn't matter because Shadow Ball is physical in this game, anyways. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Uh-huh. Let me do this. Let me lower its speed. It's not gonna matter for my chop or my champ. Cause I'm just gonna Of course you did. Of course you use a special move after I just attempt a counter. Let me just cross chop. Of course you have earth okay, so fan attack, earthquake, facade. Doesn't sound too bad. It sounds uh, like I'm gonna replace someone. We'll throw in Meganium, why not? Meganium, even though it looks kind of boring, is actually pretty good in a way. And also, I'll spend Flygon because I the scary face. That tells me how slow Machamp is and gross. All right, so now we got a uh, Solar Beam to spam. And it is gonna do a chunk of sorts because uh, Meganium doesn't have, well, Meganium has better bulk than it does uh, attack, in a way, so I'm just gonna spam the solar beam. And, of course, the sun just powered this motherfucker up, of course. Let me at least do that. Really? You're gonna throw some dirt in my eye? I can't believe you've done this. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda wish I did Battle Factory a little bit earlier. Maybe I should've avoided Battle Pike and go for Battle Factory. Cause I really do like, uh... I, well, oh my god, the sun's over. God damn it. Um, cause I know... Battle Factory probably would have been better just because you swap around, but like Battle, even though Battle Pike was just a risk I was taking. Thank you. I can't believe I lived. This is the worst day of my existence. Please KO me. Thank you. That's what I needed because the last boy I'm throwing out is the threat of the threats. Also, the fact that they gave him the worst abilities also it's terrible. Like, I would rather have a uh, Arena Trap on Duck Trio. That's whatever. So, this was bad. Well, this is like post some of the post game, not even like a minute part of the post game. So.
This is very minute. Oh no. Fuck. Whatever. Um, before, before I get stuck in this battle and off screen, I want to wish you guys uh, a great day. I'm glad that if you came here to watch, um, I say this, uh, uh, technically it was supposed to end, but I continued it for a little bit because I couldn't think of something, admittedly. And, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. There's a lot of post-game stuff, but I'm going to probably move on to something different, hopefully. I say this as I don't have a plan for what's next. But, so hopefully we got something else planned. Post, there's a lot of post-game stuff, but a lot of the post-game stuff in Emerald is either legendaries or competitive stuff that our team is not even viable for. Unless I decide to cheat and max out everyone's stats, which I don't want to. So... I wish you guys that are watching on YouTube, the, or and we're watching in general, the best day so far. And that I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. And I'll see you next time.